ride down my uh, favorite road here where I live. Right off the old Maumee River here. It's funny, when I first got this bike, this is the first road I thought of to ride. You know, the past couple times I've gone down this road, there's always been a damn car in front of me. Not that I plan on hitting this thing at 90 or 100, but I'll tell you what, I put highway pegs on this thing the other weekend. Maybe I'll take it out once or twice. Woo! Game changer. Now I just need to pony up the money for a new seat. This thing still has a stock seat on it. It's all ripped up, chewed up. It's been used, man. Let's see the guy that had this before me. Uh, Broke the shit out of it. That's also my intent. I lived in Northwest Ohio my whole life. I hate winter. To me, winter is depressing. Here we go. Open it up. Here's a little. So, I, so the camera I'm using, it's an Insta360 uh, 1X2. Got it last year, pretty freaking cool. I actually took it out to Niagara Falls, got a whole bunch of cool shots with that and the kids. But, you know, obviously I got it for the bike, but I'm really, really thinking about getting a GoPro, or not a GoPro, something, something else to complement this. Let me know in the comments uh, if I should or hell, I don't even know where I'm going with that. What, what goal am I trying to achieve here? More than just three sh 60 shots? Mount the GoPro to the front of my helmet? Hell, I don't know. I guess that'd be it, wouldn't it? But thinking about it, just one more thing to edit and I guess get cool shots of. I mean, what, what makes a good video? What's 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 the point of the video? I mean, it might be boring road I'm on. I guess if I'm making you laugh or entertaining you, or I don't know, giving you good information on whatever I'm talking about. I guess that makes a video. But also too, it could just be the shots. Could be the road. I feel like I'm riding this car's ass. Let's go. Back off a little bit. Ah, so what else do I plan on doing to the bike? Well, I know I need a battery because the battery that's in this thing is old. How old? I don't know. But when I put the uh, uh, my phone charger slash mount, tied it into the battery, shh, the battery looked old. I don't know if I just want to go OEM, place it, or been trying to read up on lithium I haven't read anything bad I just know they're way more expensive which I get that but so that'll probably that and the windshield the windshield I have is cracked at the bottom I know the view you guys have of it isn't flattering of the windshield but I need to replace the windshield probably I don't want to go complete tin but I think it's smoke also, God, I want to get rid of the rear suspension on this thing. I'm a big dude, but the air suspension on this thing, I got all the way up. I mean, you run over a crack in this thing's bottom and out. I mean, it's almost embarrassing. I mean, I get this bike built for not bar hopping. Obviously, you bar hop the thing. I've done it, but this thing's built for long hauls. But my God, the suspension on this thing is, ugh. I don't know what Harley's thinking about with air suspension. So those are kind of the main ones. Uh, Motor-wise, I'm keeping this thing stock. I don't want to crack this thing open. I don't even want to do cam. I mean, already, it came with, I bought it with a stage one on it. The old dude had a FPS Fancy 9 tuner on it, which that thing's fun to mess with. Not that I got in there and done auto tune or anything, but all the settings and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Stage one air cleaner. And it's got the Reinhardt exhaust, which I got videos all over YouTube 
you all over my social media stuff. Last summer, pulled the baffles out of it because I love loud shit. I listen to heavy metal, I love loud car, I just love loud stuff. And the bike was loud, don't get me wrong, had Reinhardt exhaust on them. So, <clears throat> figured out how to pull the baffles out, which, you know, there's a gazillion videos on YouTube on how to do it, but not specifically my exhaust, because obviously, I don't know when the guy did it, but I'd imagine he got these Reinhardt pipes back in 2013, and the newer Reinhardt pipes, the baffle comes out of the pipe when you take the end cap off. My Reinhardts don't. You take the end cap off and the baffle's staring right at your face and it's like, how the hell do you get those out? And of course there's videos like, oh yeah, take a screwdriver, knock it out from behind, yada yada yada. Tried all that and then I just went with a pair of vice grips and just wiggled those some bitches out and they came out. So I was pumped that I was able to get them out. And when I started the bike up, went for riding it you know a lot of people say you pull the baffles out of the bike you lose performance and all that stuff yada 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 uh it didn't run different i would you, you definitely lose noticeable low end torque but you kind of pick it up top because with the baffles in this bike when you get up over 4500 4, rpm it kind of feels like it's falling on its face but when the baffles were out there was nothing on the low end, but it would scream up top, which obviously air restriction, yada, 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 I get that. So there was that difference. Was it loud? Oh, yeah, it was loud. I liked how loud it was, but it sounded tin canny. I didn't care for it. So that's another thing at some point I'd like to replace is the, uh, the exhaust. Those tap performance looks sweet. I've heard good things, so maybe we'll do that. Well, anyways, that's just me mumbling. I'm almost home. I'm sure I'll hit you all up later. Thank you.